everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh, thanks for joining me. It's the weekly DD snark time. And I was like, what am I gonna do? Like, she keeps doing the same stuff. She goes to the Costco, she cooks something disgusting. She makes a shitty snarky board, but we're gonna look at a couple of shorts that she just made. Plus, we're gonna dig all the way back into the first iteration of her going shopping. Now, I know she's deleted a bunch of videos and I do have everything located somewhere on a hard drive, but I'm just gonna go for the first one that we see and it got like 350,000 hits. So this is when she started saying, whoa, people wanna watch me shop? Let's take a look at the first one and see how far she's come since then. You ready? Let's go. So before we get to this video, this vaulted video, I want to go through some shorts, like the most recent one that she did, just super cringy. Like, get ready to cringe. So this one, apparently, there's a... She, so Alicia, what she tries to do is do all the trends, right? Whatever's trending, she'll do it because she just... She'll get a ton of views because she got a ton of subscribers. So she just... She has not a... Like a there's no original bone in her body. She's just copying everybody else. But whenever she does trends, she tends to ruin them. Like she doesn't do a good job at them. They're not a good take on those trends. Same with cooking or anything she does. Everything Alicia does is like this. Ready? <laughs> So I guess the trend is you run away and the kids chase after the one they're supposed to go after. I don't know. But James walks through it. The little one stays there. And then Zoe just doesn't want to be a part of it. And Alicia forces her kids to do this. They don't want to be here. And yet she continues to force them to do this garbage. Now, I had a video that I made yesterday that I didn't drop. And I'm not going to, like, I'm not really going to talk about it. I'll talk about it a little bit. But... Alicia just needs to do some stuff. She, she needs to do some soul searching. She needs to get her kids off the internet because the thing that did happen is scary and Alicia needs to teach her children just basic internet safety. And the ones who don't want to be on the videos shouldn't have to be. And we can see here that they're literally forced to be on these videos. So it's just gross. Then there's the what my kids 12, everybody wants me to watch this one. Here's what my 12 kids ate today. Mm. For mm. breakfast, they had an oatmeal bar. No, they didn't. They walked right by that shit and poured 12 bowls of cereal. That's what they did. The hell, you put whipped cream and pounds of sugar? You don't, first of all, you don't put white sugar. If you want to have good oatmeal, like straight up, that was not a good mix anyway, but it's just all you have to do is put brown sugar and cream, not whipped cream, cream, like heavy cream. And some brown sugar, mmm. She's putting ready, ready whip out. She's putting, like, I don't know, pure sugar. She's putting friggin', here's some corn syrup, pour it in there. I'm a good man. See, yeah, there it is, all the friggin' nutmeg and No one's putting that shit on there. Stop lying. Nutmeg, get, get wrecked. For lunch, and they had pizza. And they have pizza. Huh? Peaches, carrots, and Cheetos. Yeah, the only thing they eat here is the pizza and Cheetos. Best. Some probably put Cheetos on the pizza, because that's what I do. They wanted Skittles while we were go-karting. After that, we went to Abbott's to celebrate National Ice Cream Day with some ice cream. That's so, so awkward, man. Just as I wear. Dinner was bow tie, bolognese. Bolognese, guy is said, Benissa. Salad. Just bolognese is fine. And garlic bread. Scallion. And we had ice cream nachos for our Sunday Sunday. I'm sorry. We had ice cream twice, Skittles, chips. This is a day. This is a daily occurrence in her house. Bon appetit. And the comments on this video are hilarious. So I'm not going to share them, but you can go look. And then this is the last one. This is what large shopping. Here we go. Costco haul for my family of 14. C camps come home. I quickly filled up flatbed one with all the bottled water for the month. Plus she, like, I, I feel like three weeks ago, she got that much water. I cannot believe the amount of plastic she goes through. Like, damn, woman, the world is burning. Some Sunny D, of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I heard, I think I saw a tweet the other day. It said, Sunny D tastes like someone said, make orange juice without oranges. <laughs> Pulse bought dog toys and left that flatbed up front. On flatbed two, I got the apple juice, Capri Sun, Kool-Aid, garbage bags, paper towels, forks, spoons, beef, plastic shit I'm wasting, jerky, and Gatorade. And did you even come to Costco if you didn't grab their croissants? Croissants? Yes, it's croissant. And yes, you do. You, I've never seen you buy croissants 
at Costco before. I grabbed a cup of noodles and a few essential snacks. <laughs> M&M essential snacks next before heading to checkout that's it for today see you next time <laughs> $670 in liquid come on man just drink water you gotta tap I and I saw comments on this one too People are like she. There's this one lady who goes through all the comments, and whenever there's a negative comment, she chimes in. They can't drink their water in New York. Yes, they can. Ass hat. Yes, they can. They can drink that water. It's well water. If you're in a well and septic, well water sometimes is better. Don't give me that belaganes that she can't drink the water. Like I can understand that you can't do twelve hundred loads of laundry because of your septic. I understand that, and I understand going to the laundromat for that. I do get that. Okay, but I don't believe you can't wash dishes. Okay, you, you can wash dishes. Don't give me that baloney, bolognese, and whatever. Anyway, so that was, uh, that was that. Just wanted to show you those three really cringy videos because now we're going to the original, the OG shopping video, and she's still wearing 15 pounds of eye makeup, Avril Lavigne. Okay, I just got to the grocery store. Oma is babysitting Dash and Harley this afternoon. So Oma, you son of a bitch. Where's Nana? could get here by myself, which will go a lot faster than if I drag kids along. I remembered my reusable bags. Here in New York, you have to bring your own bags. Um, I often forget <laughs> <laughs> Shut to up. do that, even though it's been a couple of years. I don't know. I just always forget to bring my own bags. I remember today. This is White Claw days, don't forget, because she said that she's quit. So we're looking at, these are the pre-days of like, this is when she was like wired on White Claw and Adderall. Woohoo! All right, come shop with me. Let's go. Yes, I'm back at Wegmans. I know it's expensive, but I don't have time to go to three different stores to save money for what I need. That logic is silly. You can go to one Walmart and get everything you need for cheaper than Wegmans. So I don't, the logic is, is faulty here because you can get everything at Walmart or another cheaper grocery store. You don't have to go to three to get it. Eh. Time is money. I you dumbass. You always slip in the secret side door and start in the back of the store. Is this what she's getting at? I slip in the secret door. Why? Why can't you just go in the main entrance like everybody else? Why? Explain why you do it. And yes, I definitely get looks from the employee going in their door. So then stop doing it, dumbass. First stop, dog food. Don't even come at me for buying store brand dog food. We spent forever finding dog food that Miracle did not have a bad reaction to. Okay, so this is weird. And now we're looking at this. So she used to, she used to do an overlay of her voice over the video, right? And so she'd get back to the house and she'd somehow edit this overlay. Now she just sings and talks on the camera, which is really weird. Don't even come at me for being store bad dog food. Whatever. Your dogs, your kids, everybody in your family eats like shit. So, like, even early on in her channel, she was like, I don't want to hear about it. My grocery list is separated into sections of the store, which helps me streamline my shopping. I only needed a few things from the end aisle because I just placed a big order on Amazon for things. This is how she should be doing it. What I, why did she change this? She did the cuts. Now she's just like, come with me for one and a half hours straight of me singing shitty and throwing shit in a cart. Why didn't she stay like this? The oatmeal is for the chicken. You know why? I'm telling you why. It's because this was too much work. That's what happened. She realized, oh, this really works, but she's like, I don't have time to edit it like this because she's put a lot of work into this, right? She did the cuts. She did the, oh, she did the voiceover and everything. She doesn't do that anymore. She just did the easiest way through it. And that's it. That's what she did. Mm -hmm. Dash loves his Pop-Tarts, and Jordan is really into these organic fruit twists. What's the... A lot of my kids like to pack these granola bars for their snack at school. Rice Krispies are back! You hear what she said there? A lot of my kids like to pack. Hmm. Maybe we need to go back to the first iteration of packing our kids' lunches, because... That sounds like they packed their own lunch. It sounds like once everything started popping for Doherty Dozen, she started doing everything. Like, look at my, how good of a ma'am I am. And so that was her thing. She started doing everything for the kids for the videos because that was like her thing. That's what happened. That's what it sounds like. In stock, I was so excited. It's Rice Krispies, okay. What? The kids are getting back into a cereal phase, so I grabbed a few Okay into a cereal phase. Get lost. Boxes of those for the week. Bacon supplies. Bacon? My kids love these boxed muffin mixes. And I got some green jello for our St. Patrick's Day waffle bar this weekend. <laughs> you putting jello on waffles? <laughs> what? 
It's so weird. It's like whatever's going on. St. Patrick's Day Jello waffles? You're so excited? That's not a thing, Alicia. There's no such thing as St. Patrick's Day Jello waffles. And green food coloring. And more salt since we used it all. Maybe. Oh, there it is. There it is. Holy shit, in all its glory. The first iteration. That I mean, I'm telling you guys, that's not like, I know some people say they have that, but not like that. That looks like Fred Flintstone's toe. Okay, don't give me that. Nobody has that. <laughs> <I'm sorry. coughs> oh, it never gets, it never gets old. I know last week. Yes, I make my own spaghetti sauce, but I love it. No, you don't, you damned liar. Big bottles of Prego and then a few of these smaller bottles of marinara for the kids in case they want a singular bowl of pasta or dipping sauce for mat sticks. You don't make your own pasta sauce, you damn liar. Um, can I just tell you? So then if you did, why would you buy Prego? How happy I am that uh, Black Cherry White Claw is back in stock. Uh, snap look at this this is the days this is the days and she's like i need six of these yes please you know what i'm gonna grab two of those thank you very much oh man you need 24 cans of booze for a week this is what got her People, like, we've been covering her for about a year now, and the White Claw was her biggest flex. She thought she was the most badass mom because she drank all the time, and then people called her out, like, left, right, and center because her kids, most of the adopt, most of the kids that came from adoption or whatever, they have fetal alcohol syndrome, almost all of them. And so people were like, are you really going to sit there and drink at your house with kids that have trauma from drinking? And then she's like, I don't do it anymore, but we see booze all over her house still. This is her, this is the days when she thought being real. Would get, was gonna work. The kids like to grab these applesauce pouches and fruit cups for their daily snack at school. Mmm, grab them, eh? I thought you packed it. And we go through more ranch and ketchup in a week than I can even describe. Okay. I am making chicken pot pies this week, so I needed a bunch of canned veggies. For the pot pies, I used canned carrots, canned peas, and canned corn. Thankfully, they were all in stock. I grabbed three cans of each. Of course, an end cap had these Lucky Charms cupcake mix. How could I pass that up? How could you, right? The kids need diabetes. I got some brownie mix. Okay. And I'm making homemade bread bowls for soup night, so I needed bread flour. Homemade bread bowls? What? I got these cute little mini taco bowls for shrimp tacos on Tuesday. And my five-year-old Bodie, who has autism, is real. What? <laughs> I'm not laughing at autism. Like, and my five year old has autism. Why did you throw that in there? Why was that a thing? Why did you need to say that? I'm fixated on Chips Ahoy right now, but only the blue Chips Ahoy and animal crackers. And that filled up cart one. Cart one! Starting cart two. Okay, all the Easter stuff is out, but I can't think about that until St. Patrick's Day is over. Because we got to have our green jello waffles. I went down the cracker aisle for goldfish and some snacks. See, now again, remember there was only, I think, 10 kids at this point, not 12. So, but still, she has gone from, she had two kids, we're teenagers, right? But has tripled or quadrupled what she's getting in these carts. Adding two kids, you shouldn't have to quadruple what you get. This is normal. This seems normal to me. So when she started realizing that spending an absurd amount of money on bullshit was getting her views, that's why she kept doing that. This is where she started and where she should have kept going. But she didn't get money and views from all that stuff. She had to keep going harder and harder. Whoa, very interesting. Pretzels and pretzel sticks so we can make shamrock pretzels. Someone asked me where I find the queso and it is in the chip aisle. Everyone in my family loves Tostitos and Nana and I love Nana, you son of a bitch. Of the lime ones. You son of a bitch. Anything green right now, I'm buying for St. Patrick's Day. What if it's mint? Because if that's mint, ew. Ew. My kids love popcorn and James loves Pringles. And who doesn't love M&Ms? I mean... That's a big ass bag of M and M's. Brie is obsessed with little Holy bites. Holy shit! She so you're gonna buy Brie 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 little bites muffins? 100 for a week. Brings two of them a day for a snack at school. 
Josh and I have been drinking these frappuccinos in the afternoon instead of making another pot of coffee. No <laughs> wonder you're not sleeping. Don't drink afternoon frappuccinos. Okay, you're never gonna sleep. We grab Duncan for our morning coffee. We've got the Capri Sun for a week. We go through one box a day. And then I headed up front and left cart two up with cart one near the manager stand. But there's still more. Cart three! Cart three. For the bottle of water. See, like this is succinct. She's cutting, she's doing things. This was her original video is better than any of her new videos. But because it was harder to do, she stopped doing it. I'll, yes, I get a lot of hate for buying bottled water. I have yeah. so many reusable waters and my kids lose them. Zoe likes the Fiji. She just she's admitting, I get so much hate, so I'm gonna show you how much I buy. Alex likes the ice. So again, three. I always buy regular bottled water and mini bottled water. And then James and I love the sparkling water. I usually get the cherry vanilla for myself. And James likes anything with lime. I got six dozen eggs because our nine chickens don't quite lay enough for our family of 12. So you buy six dozen on top of they don't quite lay enough? Like, how many do you need? <laughs> Chicken's like, what do you need from me? I also like a little coffee with my creamer every day. Three gallons. <laughs> Get it? Coffee with the creamer. <laughs> milk, three containers of chocolate almond milk, and three containers of vanilla almond milk. Several of my kids love these Yo Crunch m and yogurts. She has been buying the same shit for years. Alex wow. loves his peach yogurt, so I get seven of those a week. And I always grab That's changed. a variety pack of yogurts for the rest of the kids and our daily fruit smoothies. Ew, blueberry. High crust for our pot pies on Thursday. And Zoe loves her pizza Lunchables, so I grab some of those. Those are huge. Holy shit. I always make sure we have hot dogs just for, hey, digs. for an off night where I need a last minute meal. I mean, I get that. I haven't had a good hot dog in a while. I'm going to go buy some good hot dogs. I got ham for Alex's sandwiches every Alex. day. Yeah, Alex. And the shrimp for shrimp tacos. I love these salami so I can make salami rolls for our daily charcuterie board. That nobody eats. Josh wanted some deli bologna, but I hate talking to people, so I went over to the prepackaged stuff, hoping that there was going what anxiety bologna, so that I didn't have to talk to someone. You're a liar, Alicia. You're literally on the internet trying to be famous. Okay. And score another day. I don't have to talk to anyone. Oh, that's only a dollar eighty-two for that. Wonderbar Germany brand Balagne. I got two rotisserie chickens because it's um, Independence Day Chicken Day with the green chickens. <laughs> this is awesome. That's not a lot of meat. Oh, here comes the 30 pounds of cheese. To the dairy section to grab the shredded cheese and sour cream. And left cart three up front with the first two carts. The bottled water. Whoa, holy shit, she used to drink water. When did that change, Alicia? That's what you should, there you go. The early, <laughs> I think she stopped doing the eyeliner, right? Since we started making fun of her, yeah. I can put the rest in the fourth cart. I'm pretty spoiled at Wegmans because they took my first three cards and started scanning them while I got my fourth card. I'm spoiled. You mean because you spend thousands of dollars there? My last card is always full of produce. I am so picky when it comes to produce. You are a liar. It's the main reason I don't do online. I mean, the flies are fed well, that's why. Three. The flies gotta eat, you know? Let me check over the entire bag yeah, to make sure I'm not buying rotten grapes. There is nothing worse than spending money on rotten produce. Are you shitting me right now? You're talking about wasting money? You, your produce rots anyway because nobody eats it. Liar! And I pretty much do the same thing for everything I buy. 
I just realized that they rearranged the apples in the yeah, apples. tomato section in the store, and I don't know how I feel about that. I don't care. No one cares how you feel about it. Kiss the grocery store's ass. We haven't had many tomatoes in stock lately, so this was a surprise. I did check over the containers, though, because, uh, look at rotten tomatoes. Erg. I finally found a couple of good ones. Ran over to the orange section. And got Zoe her kiwi. We go through no less than 10 apples a day. You damned liar. You're telling me you eat 10 apples a day? No, here's what happens. You throw 10 apples in the lunches, and them shits get thrown in the garbage. Don't lie. Your kids don't eat 10 apples a day. I always buy a variety of apples, and I keep them on our kitchen counter. Yeah, apples. Goes. Keep them on the kitchen counter for their flies. A lot of my kids love the green apples. I'm partial to the Portlands, and Josh loves Red Delicious. The Portlands are good, though. I will give you that. Those apples looked amazing. We go through probably 10 bananas a day. You don't. So you're telling me every kid eats an apple and a banana a day? You're a liar. You're a liar. As well. I'm not even. God, 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 they're green. You know how many people eat those bananas for three or four days? You liar. I'm lying. We like had an argument over the last banana last night. So I stocked up today. Then over to the bread section. I always get two packages of Hawaiian rolls. Two dozen bagels. Two dozen bagels. And we go through a loaf of bread a day, so I'll get about four loaves. And then I remember we were out of melatonin. That. <laughs> it gives me the heebly weeblies. It's not good. So here's the melatonin, because if we don't have, you can't give these to the children to sleep. If you, if you need to f put medicine into your kids for them to sleep, figure something else out. Because that will not, that they'll grow out of that. And 10, 10 milligrams, I'm pretty sure, is the highest dose you can get of melatonin. So if they can't sleep, figure out a different solution. Don't medicate them. And last is the freezer section. My kids love these frozen berries to make smoothies with. No, they don't. I've never seen them make a smoothie ever once. Never once. Always keep popsicles in the freezer, and we're all out again. Yeah, this is what you stock up on popsicles and freezies. Make sure you get hundreds of those. Put it on the bread. One, one thing of popsicles. Who are you? Who, who even is this person? Who are you, Alicia? Shh. You've changed. You've changed. One box of popsicles. I'm surprised. Again, this is the reasonable. This is reasonable for a family of 12. What she just did there, except for, you know, the tons and piles of sugar, she still does all that, but more reasonable than ever. Be, like the, the original way she did this, she changed because she wanted to cause a, a stir. She did all this. She does all this stuff because people talk about the garbage she buys. This is absolutely sort of normal. One box of popsicles, though? thankful by the time I got to check out they had already run through half of my order. From there they leave my carts outside the side door and then the homeless people steal them and I go get my van get the van nice parking job a-hole and drive up and load and in and they actually help me load the groceries in probably not anymore my van now you see wake alert why i love wegmans every week these groceries cover every part of my 15 passenger van the end okay i didn't see I, the a &W didn't say anything with the pop that you bought holy okay we see it we got it What do you, what do you, this is weird. Okay, move on now. What do you As do? As you can see, every spot in the van <laughs> is filled. The laugh talk. As you can. <laughs> with groceries. I do this every week. Uh, also, I look like I just, you know, went and worked out. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. 
Looked like you went and fell down a well. Pretty much like an hour workout for me. Uh, it's not a workout. You're putting shit in a grocery cart. Relax. Uh, yeah, every single week I'll probably end up at the store. Yeah, we just saw it fall and we heard it. At least once. I know I'll have to come back midweek. I come back for fruit, bread, milk, creamer, eggs, stuff like what? that. What? You got six dozen eggs. Are you telling me you're out of eggs midweek? And you have chickens that lay eggs? So you have like, let's say seven dozen eggs. You go through 84 eggs mid by midweek? Check your cholesterol levels. Okay. And this week I'm gonna have to grab French bread, baguettes. For St. Patrick's Day. We're gonna make French bread pizza on Friday. Grabbed a sparkling water. No, this is not alcohol. Don't judge me. No, we're judging you. Cause we, you've got 24 alcohols in the back there. Sparkling water for the way home. It was so it sounds like she was being judged early. Like she's already getting a ton of comments on the way that she lived her life. And she... <laughs> Sorry, this is even better. Um, that she's just getting judged and she didn't want to hear about it. So I'm I know that this is one of the early iterations. I wonder if there were more. Because I wonder what videos she deleted after all the comments. Because she's really, really, really upset about the comments she's been getting about her. And so she makes those those snide comments. She doesn't talk about that stuff anymore. She doesn't say, I know I get a lot of hate for this. She doesn't say that. Sparkling water in the afternoon. I normally grocery shop in the morning. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I did not this week. I went in the afternoon, and now I remember why I go in the morning. It was right. way too crazy. Way too many people. It took twice as long if I had gone at 6 a.m. like I normally do, and there's nobody there. However, I'm so thankful that the manager opened up the lane and cashed me out because that saves me a ton of time. I don't have to stand in line. And... I end. She had two cards already scanned when I came up with... Now, you already said this. We got it. Fourth card. It ended up being five cards altogether once everything was scanned and put in a card. Thanks for give us the receipt. Did run out of my reusable bags. Um, so the remainder, if I don't have enough reusable bags here in New York, they put them in paper bags. Or I could have bought more reusable bags, but I have like a thousand around my house. I just need to collect them all. Oh, you look like a Uniferrari or something. Relax. So they use paper bags for a few bags of the groceries, which is fine. My kids. I who gives a shit? Now let's go. Bags, actually, they use them to make themselves Among Us characters. So they don't have <laughs> Don't worry. I get home. We're and not worried. Carry everything in. No, they won't. And Dash and Jason are usually my ones who take everything out of the bag. I mean, they think they're just having fun and building forts with the groceries, but honestly, they're helping me because they, like, categorize the groceries out into groups. What? I've... No. Why are you lying about weird things? While they build their grocery towers. Um, and from there, I can put everything away. We have... I'll have to post our pantry tour. So we have four refrigerators. Did you just hit some people? And a deep freezer. And we took the mud room and we made it into an entire pantry room. So everything has its strategic place that it gets put away. I spend a long time. I. It's like she's running over Smurfs or something. <laughs> I spend about an hour or two grocery shopping, and I would say I spend about three to four hours putting it all away, and that's because... Three to four hours! If it's put away strategically, then meal prep is just streamlined. I'm no, not wasting that's, my... That's, that's silly. We know you don't. That's silly. You're a liar. You're a liar. I'm searching through the fridge or searching through the pantry. Every spare fridge is for a certain type of food. Like Camera keeps food, lowering. Like there's a dairy fridge. There's a- You're a dairy fridge, Burn. Fridge. Um, there's a produce fridge. So that's how we keep all of that organized. Sorry, my phone kind of like fell while I was- Hey, drive, pay attention. You're an idiot. The road is really bumpy. 
brick road through it. It's so worn out. That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Thankfully, the rain seems to have stopped at the moment. So we don't have to carry in groceries in the rain. You want to do that. <laughs> You're right. And murping, murping. Who wants to murp, murp me? Honestly, Holy shit, groceries. this is... I'm like, I just did all the shopping. <laughs> I tell my kids, I said, I always say. <laughs> Why is gas so expensive in this thing? If you want to eat the food, you're going to carry the food in. That kind of motivates them enough to carry it in for me. Many hands make light work. Yeah, but those many hands you have don't help you. So <laughs> it's it's good that we have hindsight, right? We can we have hindsight now about what the kids do and don't do. And she's sitting there trying to just lie to us. It's awesome. Even Harley can carry in something, even if it's a bag of chips or a loaf of bread. Mm -hmm. James is so funny. He immediately goes for the eggs so that one of the little kids doesn't grab the eggs and break them. Oh, well, there's 84 of them. Chappins. This is a pretty typical Here we go. for us. Takes up my entire kitchen counter. 950. Okay, so there. So she's like, that's what I do every week. Now she's gone up. Like some of those hauls are like two thousand dollars. Now I know this was a couple years ago and prices have gone up, but she's like seventeen, eighteen hundred bucks on a regular, then go to Costco, then go to BJ's and everything else. She doubles this now. That's right. So she doubled it because she knows she's getting views on it. That's quite interesting. It was $950.87. That's crazy. And everybody looks at this and they're like, there's just, oh, you have 12. You, you don't, that's, that's too much. Like, again, all you have to do is just be strategic with the way you cook and the way that you give your kids snacks. Even but, early, she was bad with this. I saved $1.40. Oh. <laughs> but there. Well, that was quite interesting, was it not? That I'm actually I'm gonna go through all the old stuff now. The first iterations of the certain things, because they were quite interesting. Now that we know what we know about Alicia, the White Claw and the way she does things. She drank water. Like, be still, my beating heart. Her body was like, thank you, <laughs> thank you for the water. And then now she's like, no water for you, bitch. You're gonna. You're going to be dry, and you're going to love it. You understand me? Anyway, that was funny. I mean, very interesting. What do you guys think? You think she's changed a little bit? You think she's she does she goes crazy now because it gets her views? I don't know. Let's see. What do you think? Tell me below. Everybody take a deep breath. I'm never going to stop doing those because they're really important. If you've never done a deep breath with me, do one right now. Okay, watch. Do a deep breath. It's actually really important to do deep breaths, just so you're aware. Guys, thank you for being here. Thanks for having some fun with me and making fun of the eyeliner and stuff. And this pause screens on this one. It's very telling that she used to actually put more work into these and make them better. And now she's like, screw making it better. Here's just an hour and 45 minutes straight, y'all. Unless I have to cut something that's in, you know, someone was swearing or something in the background. That's what she did. But thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for being amazing, incredible, and valuable. Don't you forget. I hope your summer is going well. Everything's going great. Get to the movie theater. See Mission Impossible. Oppenheimer's coming out this week. I cannot wait. Barbie, no. But Oppenheimer, yes. Yes. I'm going to see it. You guys, stay classy. Stay cool. And I'll see you when I see you.